Alright, mis amigos, we got the all-star game. <laughs> What's up? It's Man Cake, and I apologize for that, but uh, you know what? It is a holiday weekend here in the States. I know the majority of you live here in the U.S., but for those of you outside of the U.S. that are completely unaware, uh, we've got the 4th of July weekend going down here in the States, and I really probably shouldn't be even doing commentary right now. Uh, for many reasons, but, uh, you know, it's basically a glorified holiday to get drunk and blow up stuff. Uh, so it's a good time, obviously. But yes, I'm in the All-Star game here. I've got a lot of stuff to cover. Just gonna go at it today. Uh, nothing too really heavy on the play-by-play. -play. It's the All-Star game. You can mess around. Uh, I didn't notice this, but actually Dwayne Wade is injured for the majority of this season here. In my My Player season, which means he's injured in both my My Player and my Association. But, uh... A lot of things to cover, like I said. We'll start off right here with the NBA lockout. Obviously, that has just started. Um, we were in the middle of two lockouts right now, which is not fun at all. It sucks that they're both coinciding in the same year as LeBrick James misses a jumper right there. But uh, that kind of brings me to the topic of 2K12. And in the event that 2K12 is delayed, well, it's not going to be delayed. But if it does come out while the lockout is still in progress, you can pretty much guarantee you'll be doing things a little bit differently here on the channel. Uh, obviously, we'll still be starting off with my players that will hopefully progress a little bit quicker than we have here in 2K11. Obviously, we don't want to be in the middle of the All-Star break come July of 2012. Uh, but beyond that, uh, the associations, which I know a lot of you love, I love them as well. Uh, it's quite a bit of fun. Those are probably going to be delayed for quite some time here on the channel, just until the lockout has been lifted for at least a few weeks, because there's going to be a lot of obvious player movement going on between trades and free agency, because as we all know, until this lockout has been lifted, none of that will be going on this summer, so these teams are bound to change shape and uh, looks quite a bit, I guess you could say. So that'll be something that we're going to have to kind of get used to, is just seeing a lot of my player here in 2K12. Uh, might actually pick up another project or finish up my baseball stuff then. I'm going to do some baseball stuff in the near future for those of you that are going crazy. But, uh, <laughs> yes, that'll be something you'll, I don't know, be a little bit different to watch around here. There's a lot of games that are obviously coming out around that time that we might fill the time and the space with uh, while we wait to start up that association once again. And before any of you go ahead and try and recommend Madden 2012, let me just stop you right there with a resounding, oh, hell no. I think Jake and I feel the same way about that series right now and that, you know, we both bought the game pretty much every year for the better part of a decade, and it hasn't really changed any year in really any significant way, and it's just not a game that's worth buying for 60 bucks plus, you know, whatever you need to buy online or whatever shenanigans they're trying to get you to buy every season in and out. Uh, it's just a game that's fundamentally broke, and uh, we won't be playing that ever again on our channel. But anyway, for the most part, we're just going to play it by ear here as we move forward on this channel. This uh, next year in gaming could be very interesting given the fact that we play a majority of sports games. So that might be expanding just, you know, for a bigger uh, audience, I guess you could say. Uh, but beyond that, uh, it's nice to mix things up for us as well. But we're definitely going to get back to the normal things in association in my player quite a bit in 2K12. And I know a lot of you have been asking about uh, those live streams that you come to love, uh, we love doing them. They're quite a bit of fun. They're also quite a bit of stress uh, lately for me because I've got a really messed up computer. That I need to get fixed before I really continue doing those live streams. I know I mentioned about a month ago while I was moving that I'd be delaying them for a month. But for right now, I really couldn't say we see any of those coming up in the near future whatsoever. It could be a long, long time before you see one again. But hopefully by then I'll have uh, enough money rummaged up here to get everything fixed up. And you might see some more of those and that'll be a good thing that could possibly take up some of our time here as we uh, have no association to play when 2k12 first comes out but yes i've been talking a lot about random stuff we're four minutes into this video here and i've really just talked about all the stuff about the channel which i'm sure all of you including you yes you really enjoyed listening to here but uh you know what i'm gonna get back to the gameplay here for the most part, I've been playing like a fool, but to be honest, uh, that's kind of how the All-Star games go. And I'm having a lot of fun. I've actually got a decent stat line. I've yet to miss a shot here at this point in the game. And uh, playing some defense, which is something you really don't see in the All-Star game. Definitely getting some steals and some nice blocks. And something else I thought was pretty funny was that Chris Bosh was getting more touches in the post here in the All-Star game than he does with his normal Miami Heat team on a game-to-game -game basis. Which is uh, just silly because he was having a great game here early on in this All-Star game. But you know what? I've been missing this in my latest Jackie Moon videos. Let's go. T -t 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 fail. 
<laughs> uh, that was not good. I didn't like missing the tip slam, so I'm calling for an oop, and I'm throwing it down. Great little lob pass here from Rondo. Said it was a bad call for pass. I don't see it. I mean, come on. That's only my first real dunk here in this game. Everything else has been a really lame-looking layup as Rudy Gay shows me up there with a windmill in traffic. Just a nasty, nasty dunk. And I'm playing more defense here. He will try and find Kevin Durant. No, sir. Give me that ball. Look at the rookie playing defense. I don't think they expected this whatsoever. And that is a bad shot there from D. Will. Some good shot defense there from Dwight Howard. I'm running hard. D. Rose, find me, sir, because I'm lighting this one up. Love that. Uh, we were actually in a pretty close game, but we're starting to pull away after I get pulled out for a majority of the fourth quarter. And a great pass here from former teammate Steve Nash to Dirk Nowitzki. Just a nice little look there. So we're definitely not quite out of the woods yet, but you know what? I'm trying to get a chance to show off my new dunk package, and that's a great block there on Rudy Gay, but I did not see that coming. Danny Granger will tip the loose ball right back into Rudy Gay's hands, and he's going to dunk right back on top of Danny Granger saying, Hello! <laughs> Same play right here, though. I've got a lot of blocks. I'm going to give Rudy Gay an actual chance there, and you know what? I'm hustling. No rebound for me. I'm going to throw it down. Come on, pass me the ball! <laughs> and I do a standing dunk. That's actually my first standing dunk ever in a game with Jackie Moon, even though it's been maxed out for as long as I can remember. Uh, I just can't get them ever. I swear Jackie Moon is in love with layups. Maybe he thinks he's a real Jackie Moon from the movie, who's 6'4 and fat, who really can't dunk that well. Uh, if at all, I can't even remember. But I do get a nice steal right here. One more chance for a good dunk, but D-Will will catch up. And I'm throwing down the spin dunk, which I did not intend to do whatsoever. He follows me. And that's pretty much it for the game. Uh, a few more plays here at the end. You know, I wanted to show off this new dunk package. I'm not going to say what it is. You probably can guess what it is, honestly. But you know what? I've never actually had a my player that had flashy dunks. I mean, sure, Campaign could throw it down back in 2K10. But all of his were two-handed, or otherwise they were just really cheesy-looking turbo dunks of the specialty dunks. So I'm excited. Maybe we'll see one of those here in the near future. But like I said earlier, I had a very solid game across the board. I played defense, but none of my numbers are really that amazing. Which kind of uh, surprised me here when I won player of the game here in my first All-Star game in my rookie season. I guess I just kind of assumed LeBron or one of the point guards would win the MVP. But uh, you know what? I'm happy to see this. I had really good defensive numbers, which kind of helped me along the way. And right here, Dwight Howard should have thrown this down. I think he should be fine, to be honest. He's a former dunk champion in the All-Star game, and he doesn't throw that down. I mean, that just doesn't fit. It's, it's not right. Uh, <laughs> but beyond that, I'm going to show off my updated attributes here at the end of the video. I know some of you have been waiting for those for quite some time, but to be honest, there really wasn't that much of a change until recently when I pulled down a lot of mid-season milestones. And thanks to all of their skill points, I've become a pretty serviceable player here, uh, both in my player and in crew, and uh, Jackie's becoming quite fun to play, that's for sure. Uh, beyond that, just want to recap what went on in the beginning of the video. I uh, discussed that we will be kind of delaying the 2K12 association if the lockout is still going on when 2K12 first comes out. So if you feel like you want to suggest something that we try out or start a project for on YouTube or live stream, uh, feel free to suggest something. Uh, we'll check it out for sure. There's going to be a lot of games coming out, like I said, so it could be an interesting period of time for our channel and a lot of 2K commentators, that's for sure. But as promised, here are my updated attributes. Uh, just going to highlight what has been improved. Free throw is up to a 90. Dunk is up to an 85 and 95 with the shoes on. Standing dunk is at a 75. Shooting traffic is maxed at 95. And beyond that, everything else is pretty much normal. A lot of work is still needed down here, especially in the ball security and ball handling. Pass is maxed out at 75. My hands could still use a little bit of work, but beyond that, uh, the only thing I've upgraded defensively is my block and steals, and those are only up to 60 and 55 respectively. My physical attributes are all the exact same. I need to work on my quickness a lot. Uh, strength will be something that comes a lot later in Jackie Moon's career, I suspect. And finally, consistency and defensive awareness have been maxed. Offensive awareness still needs work, but Jackie is definitely getting better. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a happy 4th of July.